Hey guys, it's Docket here and today we are going to discuss about the topic of contraction in muscles. Now, how the actin and myosin molecules interact with each other to cause contraction? Well, first of all, let's study briefly the structure of actin and myosin filaments. The myosin molecule is a polypeptide complex of 480,000 molecular weight having six, six polypeptide chains in total, two heavy and four light chains. The two heavy chains form the make the body of the filament called the tail. At one end, each heavy chain wraps bilaterally to form globular heads. A total of two globular heads are present and four light chains are present around them. Now let's move on to actin molecules. The actin molecules are composed of F-actin molecules which is composed of G-actin complexes. Each G-actin has ADB binding sites to which the actin heads can be attached. Now the tropomyosin is another protein which wraps the spiral formed by the actin molecule. The tropomyosin is believed to cover the active sites of the actin molecule in the relaxed state and there is another protein called troponin troponin is composed of three loosely attached subunits troponin i troponin c and troponin t the troponin i is attached to actin troponin c is attached to calcium and troponin t is attached to tropomycin now guys let's move on to the mechanism well, first of all, let's study why actin and myosin are always, not always, bound together since they have a very strong attraction and affinity for each other. Well, this inhibition is caused by troponin-tropomyosin complex. The researchers put actin molecules in proximity to myosin molecules and they saw that the myosin heads are immediately attached to the actin molecules. Well, until they added the troponin tropomycin complex. When the troponin tropomycin complex is added, the attraction could not be made. The mycin heads cannot uh, attach to the actin molecules. And in this way, it is believed that the troponin tropomycin complex physically covers the active sites, the active sites to which the mycin heads can be attached. Now action potential along muscle membrane causes calcium to be released from the SR, which is sarcoplasmic reticulum. These calcium ions bind immediately to troponin and causes a troponin tropomyosin complex to move into the groove between active strands, actin strands. This movement uncovers the active sites and now the interaction of the myosin heads to the actin sides can be made now another theory called walk along theory explains the interaction of the myosin heads and the active sites on the actin molecules first of all the myosin heads are attached to the actin sites automatically this causes a conformational intramolecular force changes and the new alignment of the force causes the head head to tilt towards the tail this moves the actin molecules forward as soon as this happens the head automatically breaks away from the attachment side and recovers to its original position now the head attaches to an other active side farther down along the actin molecule this new attachment and causes new power stroke and new recovery and in this way the Mycin molecules literally walks along the actin filaments. The cross bridges which are formed between the mycin molecule and the actin molecule are believed to operate independently of each other. Thus, the greater the number of cross bridges in contact with the actin filament at any given time, the greater the force of contraction. Now guys, let's study what is the role of ATP in all, this, in all of this procedure. Well, first of all, let's study the Fenn's effect. Fenn's effect explains that the amount of work performed by the muscle is directly correlated to the amount of ATP used by it. First of all, the myosin heads bind to ATP, cleave them to ADP and phosphates, 
but the products are not yet released. After this, active sites on the actin molecule get uncovered and the myosin heads get attached. The already stored energy formed by cleavage of ATP comes into play and cause myosin heads to provide power stroke. Once the head tilts, release of ADP and phosphate occurs and a new ATP molecule gets attached. This causes the detachment of myosin heads. After detachment, another ATP molecule is cleaved and the cycle is repeated again. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you learned something new and subscribe to my channel to support me.